cathedral is nice and quiet. It's so relaxing. There's something else. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble. So. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. Inside the cathedrals, now that... something else. Here's an idea. I hear the Officer's Academy of the Monastery was founded about two centuries ago. The eastern region of Fodlan was being invaded by Almira, and so the Archbishop of the time took measures to prevent the border from being taken. In order to ensure Fodlan would be safe from potential threats, she deemed it necessary to raise a generation of excellence. That is how the establishment was founded, though its purpose has changed over the years. There is nothing I cannot... Well... Let's see... Oh, do you need me for something? Myra, Dusker, even people from far off lands gather here at the Academy. Word of advice, Professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. Bridget, I'll my word of it. Hello. What the? Have my thanks. Inside the cathedral, Saint In Saints. Now that you are
The cathedral is not... Here's an idea. I hear the office... The east... In, that is... I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. I would be liking that greatly. Greetings. <laughs> Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? But you are wearing many things, Professor. If you are not liking the heat, you should be wearing lighter clothes. Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway... Do you know what that no-good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess, I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some knight he is. How about this? Do you know about the Cardinals? They are the ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. It's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the Academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. Huh? You're inviting me to join your class? I'm really flattered, honestly.
Could be. Professor, hey, that it's not. By the I guess if you put it. Professor, that it's not. By I guess if you. Professor, that it's not. By the t I guess if you put it. How are you doing? Getting used to life here? I am settled. Everyone shows great kindness. I'm glad to hear it. I was so surprised when you first arrived. A princess all the way from Bridget. You have my gratitude. But please do not call me princess. You are making my cheeks blush. There's nothing to blush about. You're every little girl's dream of what a princess should be. Anyhow, I suppose it's been a long time since you've been back to Bridget, hasn't it? I hope you aren't homesick. Maybe we can cook one of your favorite dishes from back home. I do wish for that. But there is no possibility. The ingredients are not found here. I suppose you're right. That's probably why they don't cook the food of Bridget in the dining hall. I'm sorry. I just got to thinking about how hard it must be to live somewhere so far away from home and... No. It can't be impossible. I'll fix you a real meal of Bridget. I'll just find a recipe and similar ingredients. Wait, Dorothea. It is the thinking that counts. But your cooking is... What is the word? Horrendous. That is what everyone is saying anyway. Horrendous? Nobody's cooking can be that bad. The thinking is enough for me. You have my biggest gratitude. Fine, I'll do something instead of cooking for you. I just want to be sure that you feel at home here. How about a massage? That may help you loosen up. I have no problems. My body is already able to relax. Oh? Then perhaps I could sing you lullabies to help you sleep. I'm not having sleeping trouble. Just know that you never have to worry about putting me out. I like helping my friends. Well then, I must be going, but... Remember my offer. Dorothea is filling my heart full. <laughs>
No. everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Ooh, same! I'll definitely remember that. Huh? Mm, I'm not sure. There's still a lot... Perhaps there are way too many vegetables in today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, a high pref- Well, everyone knows a plateful of sweets is far preferred to a plateful of vegetables, regardless of age. Oh, Professor, I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. I don't need luck. This will be a piece of cake. I'm bored. Maybe I should go into town. But that would be such a hassle. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. Are you sure? I thought you'd found me out for a moment there. I was thinking... What about... Professor, you're the one taking out the bandits? <laughs> I didn't expect they'd order us to risk our lives. I was thinking... The Knights of Saros are also known as the Shining Knights. There are many orders of knights, and as a member of the church, you should probably...
Xanado, the Red, even members of the church are for to go trampling around in there. Thanks for your help. Excellent work guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command like that? Simply splendid. And bearing the unknown crest's power? Yes, I'm talking about you. Your talents are incredible, and Lady Rhea's insight as to your potential is doubly so. seem to have a mark of the exceptional about you. I only wish Seteth would follow your example. books, tracking down that single sought-after volume, it's absolute bliss. How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? So glad to be a student here. If only reading books from all the regions of Fodlan, I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. Well, I agree. They're pretty. Lifesaver.
Have you not been told what's expected from lectures here? Well, I can tell you how it works based on what I've heard from other professors. Starting lecture, it's a good idea to determine everyone's academic goals. Students will want to prioritize studying things that will help them achieve their aim. It's probably easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. Of course, that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach someone things unrelated to their personal goals as well. By looking beyond their preferences, some students may find they're interested in fields they've never previously considered. Students' goals may change based on their studies or the experience they gain while on missions. When that happens, perhaps you could help them decide what new goals they should set for themselves. How motivated a student is will affect how well your tutoring goes. To help cultivate their motivation, I think it's a good idea to interact with your students as much as possible. Please try your best to motivate everyone, so that they, in turn, will try hard with their assignments and activities. At the Officers' Academy, students are encouraged to engage in if you instruct your students to work together as a team. Heard about the certification exams? They take place every month. Everyone here is working hard to become a certain type of soldier, and those tests are how you can check to see how far we've come. In order to pass the exam, you need to train enough to become whatever class you're aiming for. Take care to develop your students strategically so that they can pass their certification exams. I have a question. Ah, a 
glance at them. Okay, um, let's go. I am ready. We did it! I won't forget all I've learned. Thanks. In battle, it's necessary to deploy battalions so that students can experience taking command. I doubt I need to say this to a mercenary like you, but if you have any questions about how to use your soldiers, please don't hesitate to ask. That's my cue. 
Put me in there. I will get the victory. Stay focused. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. I will prevail. Oh no. As you wish. Ugh. Not setting a very good example. What is that?
That was nothing. Always nice. Growth is a part of life. Only a fool challenges me. Your defeat was inevitable. I must get stronger. Makes money, right? As you wish. You worked hard for nothing. Thank you. 
chance to grow. We must all do our part. It seems I've exhausted this topic. That's why I train. Pretty good, don't you think? <laughs> I've mastered this art. Just getting started. Just like that.
The mark of nobility. The noble standard. A quick study. They won't notice if one person doesn't sing, will they? <laughs> Learning these things gives me great difficult. Uh, Difficulty. Uh, professor, I am not understanding where the meaning is here. When and how is this expression used? I fell for it. No, that is what you say when you meet the ma- The expression is... Thank you, Professor. Can I ask you about another one? Mm-hmm. Is... I am without much time to study. I'm a... Is that really what you are thinking? You are already knowing that I am... This is a mark from Bridget. Hunters ask the forest spirit. I have more marks on my arms and back. Are you wanting to see them? I have understanding. I, I can read and understand the language of Foglin. I hope I will keep having your support. And I will- I have things that I cannot fail to accomplish. Yes, we will keep walking forward. Our results speak volumes. Ah, it's clear to me now. Enlightening. It's starting to take shape. As long as it makes me stronger. I'd never have learned this back in my room. I am closing in on expertise.
I'm getting closer. I will master this. Professor, I've just received word from the Knights. They've located the bandits. It seems they have them cornered. They are in Xanadu, the Red Canyon. I can't wait to get started. I'll strike down those heinous thieves before they know what hit them. Charge ahead if you must, Caspar. Just do not put the rest of us in danger. I'm going back. I won't be of any help anyway, and I don't want to get hurt. Don't worry, Burn. It's just some bandits. We'll have no trouble at all. Eh, don't get ahead of yourselves. Unfounded optimism isn't a great strategy. Let's just get this over with. There is nothing to... get over. We will work with each other to achieve our mission. It's time, Professor. Give us our orders and let's move out.
As expected. So, we are taking children into battle, are we? I am not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite. So this is the Red Canyon, a ruin of sorts by the look of it. Let's end this quickly. The thieves must have been driven back. Be careful or the cornered mice might bite us. The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! Professor, I hear there's a back road to the west. Why don't we split up and attack from both the west and the front? If we advance tactfully, we can attack our enemy from both sides. I leave the rest to you. Regardless, we must cross the bridge first. Stay focused. Put me in there! I will prevail. I will get the victory. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. chance to grow.
Should I have held back? One more success. Disappointing, but I will not misplace my heart. People and beasts are as one. Calm your heart, and do not be worried about this killing. Regrettable, but there was no other way. should be on it. These ruffians are no match for a...
stole this treasure. It's all ours. There's no way we're gonna give it up to some knights. Let's think carefully. chance to grow. Another step forward. The glory of progress. Thank you. 
Thanks. Lady Edelgard. Any experience is worth having. Allow me to clean this up for you, Lady Edelgard. Thank you. 
I am Ferdinand von Eyre. As you wish. I will get the victory. Ugh. Battle. I will prevail. Stay focused. Put me in there. I'll be fine. Ferdinand von Eyre. As you wish. 
I will get the victory. Eww. Battle. <laughs> I'll be fine. Thank you for leading us, Professor. Though I suppose there was no way we could lose to a familiar foe. In any case, something about this canyon feels inexplicably strange. you recall this place you must be weak of heart each time I speak it scares you so although the battles at an end do not feel too at ease well anyhow I am quite fascinated by this place as far as I can tell this is your first time here Very odd. I wonder if somehow my memories have... Hmm. I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow. Pain and love, and all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Professor? I was wondering where you were. It's about time we headed back to the monastery. It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case... You must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. You think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. On our way out, I had the chance to observe the Red Canyon. Did you notice anything, Professor? Of course. I expected as much. The area was covered in ruins, each more curious than the last. 
They did not match the architectural style of any era or culture within the Empire, or across all of Fodlan for that matter. That can only mean one thing. The Valley Civilization must have flourished and fallen in the distant past, long before the Empire was established. Who do you think lived there? <laughs> it's possible they weren't even human. Hmm, perhaps their remnants still influence this world. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Good. I have high expectations for you. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Legend has it, in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. Long ago, the Divine Seros received a revelation from the Goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. The Goddess is always watching over Fodlan from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the Goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so... Are you simple? That's imp- Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... <sighs> Part 1 White clouds, garland moon, mutiny in the mist. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents of Fodlan know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He's been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. 
A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lenato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knights' rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Excuse me. You sent for me, Lady Rhea? This is Catherine. She will be leading the knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights. And that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. Thank you so much! some time in here engaging in such idle chatter do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste you must try harder from now on you must try Things we can't obtain here are likely obtainable by way of the underground. Are you unfamiliar with Garibald? Professor, no matter how much I eat, my muscles must be going... Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. Absolutely! I knew you'd see things my way. Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. If that is a polite way of calling him a goat. Professor... Have a moment, I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward flame. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? If you do see anyone getting too close with flame, please inform me of it at once.
sounds fun. Let me show you my cooking talent. A little more secret spice and... Hey! No peeking! this meal. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I must vent to someone, Professor. You're familiar with Manuela's slovenly behavior, yes? That woman. She borrowed a book last week and returned it with stains of unknown origin on the cover and several pages either folded or torn. Just now, she dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up, and... some minor noble rebelling in Fargus, right? Huh? Are you going along to help? Sounds like an easy... Ah. Goodness. My central duty as an... I abhor those like Lord Lenato, who deliberately shatter the... You have a kind soul, Professor. to happen to Lenato if he's killed I maybe Lord Lenato he used to stay at the monastery rather frequently he was such a pious man a true believer such a terrible shame. I wonder what changed him. Well... Here's the we are truly blessed with how fertile the monastery grounds... Professor! Professor... Professor! About this month's assignment, though it looks like we won't be fighting, my understanding is that it will all... <laughs> Hello? Hmm? I've heard whispers about Lord Lonato. Why would such a kind... Oh, Professor, you were what A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up to it. I have a favor to ask of you. Bye. 
Thank you so much for your help. I felt a bit lost here. Thankfully, a sweet young girl reached me. What about... The professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. All right, it is mealtime. Hello there. I hear that Lord Lenato served the King of Fargus. He already had status and prestige. Eh. What? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Have you talked with Catherine yet? <laughs> oh, and that relic of hers. Your clothes are a bit dirty. If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the girls won't like you. I hate when my clothes get dirty. Since we're heading to Castle Gaspar, the road is well known for it. Depending on the time of year, it can be incredible. Lucky for us, it shouldn't be too foggy while we're there. After Fargus lost its king, there were many rebellions. How frustrating that I am too young to take the throne. Rendered powerless by age. If the throne is vacant... Thank you, Lady Bernadetta. I will take my leave. Oh, good. Uh, bye! Uh, goodbye! Finally. Oh, that was awful. Ah! Please don't 
sneak up on me like that? That lady asked me to show her around. I tried to be polite, but... Oh, yeah? How about when I first met you, and I wouldn't actually... Now that you mention it, I wonder why. You know, Professor, you might be the first person I've been able to speak to normally since I got here. And I have no idea why. I'm happy about it, too. When we first started out here, we had to do drills. It's a terrible idea going out in the forest with all things to you, though. I can actually make it through class now. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay. I am okay. I'm doing just fine. I feel safe here, thanks to you. What? You, you saw that? Why would you see that? You were watching me? That cross is a line, Professor. Singing, useless, worthless. Yeah. Catherine has invited me to train with her. How much do you think I should train before I'm ready to train? Oh. It is a noble's duty to protect the common folk, not to endanger them by rallying armies in such a feckless and improper manner. Abuse of that kind is no better than slavery. A proper noble must guard the people from such a fate, wouldn't you say? Precisely why true nobility is well respected. Studying here so I can be the best. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top-tier mercenary professor? I'm going to work a lot harder than all the fancy nobles. Hey there. Train? You really are as hardworking as they say. Spoken like a true hard worker. Catherine, hmm? Her skill, but I think she's hiding. You should spar with her. Yes. Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? Within the Knights of Saros, Catherine is the str Why not seek her out as a Come to think of it. Here to train? Fodlin are different, and people here are unknowing of the spirits who watch you.
flowers within the greenhouse are removed, they will soon wilt, I feel like, and empathize with flowers that thrive, despite... Inspirational? No. I desired fresh air. <laughs> I have a favor to ask. It was by request. I have a request. Where did you hear? The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? Did you hear? The key spill it. Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? Each piece can teach us about styles and techniques from a thousand years ago. I'm from a family of merchants. Of course. 
Pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to meeting out a pro- As a member of the church, you'll- We'd best purge the entire... Bernadetta, why are you following me? <laughs> um... You were following me quite conspicuously, so why attempt... I... Um... <laughs> Please... Calm yourself, I have no... Forgive me, I... Bernadetta. Yes, Lady Edelgard! Please explain why you were following me and why you tried to hide. Is Her Highness saying she will not condemn me? Please, speak like the human that you are. I already said- Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, Lady Edelgard. And that ex- I, I decided to watch you get more and more scared until I finally could help- Honestly. Look, nobody is truly- What? You seem oddly overjoyed at the thought. No, of course not. But, um, what in the world could possibly frighten you? The sea. I find the pitch black of the open sea at night quite frightening. I can't swim, so if the sea were to walk- The sea? I didn't know you couldn't swim! Again, my shortcomings delight you. Everyone has fears, as well as things they can't do. How many times must I tell you? <laughs> I really did make you angry! Professor, I heard even among the knights she is some. Really? What did you hit the king spilling? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor?
Do you want to hire this battalion? Nice to meet you. Thank you. In the Battalion Guild, you can find various battalions that aren't affiliated with the Church of Saros. We're allowed to hire them if we so please, so you should familiar- Naturally, battalions lose endurance as they fight. If you visit the Battalion Guild in the market, you'll be able to- Asking a question. I am appreciating your answer. Give it a try. We did it, and without incident. My efforts were not in vain. Perhaps I've been well taught. Not a total waste. I've grasped it! How lovely! I work to grow. Why are we seated beside each other? I just shut up and eat. my cooking talent. A little more secret spice and... Hey! No peeking! Right. 
Did you hear? The kiss spilling. Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? I simply must thank you, Professor. Our results speak volumes. I will master this. It's starting to take shape. As long as it makes me stronger. I'm a quick study.
I would be liking that greatly. Ah, oh, I can eat so much of this stuff. grounds are far too and no that's not because I'm getting lost I'm a fully Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my... I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention. But how loud is too loud? Professor? Don't forget all I've learned. Seems simple enough. I'm getting it. One step before the next step.
That's uh... right, right. Uh, Hi there. <laughs> Welcome. This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. Please come again. Thank you. Please come again. Professor. What? Me? Say. Professor.
Why not? How did you know this was mine? No matter how powerful our enemies may be, there is no need to worry so long as we're with Catherine, the mighty wielder of Thunderbrand. You mean you don't know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the up. One must wonder why Lord Lenato would incite such a reckless rebellion. It all goes back to the tragedy of Dusker. Roughly four years ago, the King of Fargus was murdered by the people of Dusker. I believe that about sums it up, correct? To put it simply, yes. But there's more to that story. They had accomplices within the kingdom as well. Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was one of them. And so he was handed over to the church for execution. Speaking from the church's perspective, we simply pass judgment according to our doctrine in place of the kingdom, which was in complete chaos. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against- Report! The enemy is approaching. Their numbers are far greater than we- It looks like our mission just changed. With this fog, it's impossible to tell where... The enemy could be trying to surround us. Take down anyone who breaks through... That smell. It's fresh blood. It seems the battle has already started within the fog. Proceed with caution. I got this. I will prevail. Stay focused. Ugh. Battle.
I will get the victory. As you wish. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Oh no. Put me in there. That's my cue. Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. You think we're just gonna do nothing?
Russian is needed. If only my research had such results. Practice does make per- Lenato, please don't die. I'm sorry, but I don't believe Lord Lenato has the strength to carry on. Let you anywhere near Lord Lenato. As you wish. Stay focused. I got this. I will get the victory. That's my cue. Your wretched zealotry that killed my son! 
<laughs> the only name I answer to is Catherine. Prepare to taste the blade of one who serves the goddess. Now you face a knight of Theros! The fog is cleared. There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Put me in there! Where do I start? Stay focused. I will prevail.
have been deceived! You! You have lost. You want to fight me? Stay focused. I never thought I'd see Lonato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go. It was all so pointless. I've never seen so many people utterly heartbroken. Forcing innocent citizens to risk their lives? That man was not a noble, but a monster. What could have pushed Lord Lenato to this point? Everyone was a bit shaken by the militia fighting alongside our enemies. If only everyone could face reality so unflinchingly. The commoners who allied themselves with Lord Lenato believed they were fighting for a just cause. It would be disrespectful to consider them simply victims when they died for what they believed in. Still, we have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Even if our enemies are the gods themselves, we must never lose sight of our goal. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really, I'm just like Lenato. 
I too will be the sort of ruler who's willing to risk the lives of my citizens in service of a higher cause. It's not possible to change the world without sacrifice. Dying for the greater good is not a death in vain. Professor, I'm afraid this incident is far more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect, but the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The Goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. I am not so sure. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported, the secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. That is most reassuring. You have my gratitude. The rite of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students, but the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the Blue Sea Star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the Goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garig Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much-anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. Our mission this month is to patrol and set up defenses to stop the assassination plot. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if an assassination attempt is truly the goal of our enemy. Yes, I think so too. A barely concealed secret message trying to distract us from whatever's really going on. Sloppy to say the least. And while everyone is out searching for a phantom assassin, they'll be free to accomplish their true goal with ease. The monastery houses many valuable weapons. 
Perhaps that is their aim? I hear the monastery has a treasure- Garrig Mach is immense. And not just above ground, but below as well. It seems to me that we should search the monastery for a clue as to what- Of course, we must never underestimate the need for preparedness. In case a battle should ensue. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Saros, and this young man is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Yep, I help Lady Rhea with all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. Yells, never says mean things about people. Maybe she'd be my friend. Oh, there she is now. Okay, Bernie, you can do this. Bernadetta, are you needing help with something? <laughs> How did you know? Do you have eyes in the back of your head or something? I do not have that, no. Right, do you want to? Uh, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. What I am thinking? I am thinking that you remind me of prey. Yes. Like a rabbit in the tall grass. Always watching for enemies. And you flee at any sign of danger. You are quick also. I must be careful that I am not hunting Bernie when I take out my bow. Oh, you try not to shoot me. That's, um, nice. You have similarities with prey. That is all I mean to be saying. So you're saying you might end up hunting me? There is no need to have concern. I will make sure my arrows are not hitting you. Th that isn't comforting! Whatever I did to deserve this, forgive me! You do not need forgiveness, but it is yours if you are wanting it. Was I saying something wrong? Hello there, Edelgard. Are you looking for something? You could say that. I'm looking for someone named Linhart, who's been skipping lectures again. I see. Well, congratulations, you've found him. Did you want him for something in particular? What else could bring me here other than your complete negligence? Well, perhaps you're interested in hearing my latest theories on the nature of crests. I suspect the formation of crests may be quite different than that recorded in church tradition. Before you go on, is there any discernible benefit to me allowing this babble to continue? Well, of course. And that would be? I suspect you'll find the topic rather entertaining. That's it. What more do you need? Crest research is its own reward. You know, if you ever truly applied yourself, you could become a distinguished scholar. You could use your crest knowledge to benefit the world, or uncover new discoveries in magic theory. Why would I busy myself with such tedious work? I performed this research for my own knowledge. I'm not interested in the world at large. There's nothing wrong with a selfish drive for knowledge, but only if you put it to good use. I'm sure there must be some use. Oh? Then please, tell me what potential uses you have in mind. Well, there are people out there who spend good money on bizarre artistic creations, so I'm sure my not-at-all-useful research could be used as a fine lullaby for the children of the world. A lullaby? <sighs> I have things to do. Just know that this was my last warning. Sure, of course. 
Goodbye. Maybe. The goddess's rite of rebirth is the most significant ritual. Could it be that someone has... specimen of a knight. I blame all these rumors of a deathly figure showing up in town. Such an... Liking the I think I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. I found an interesting book. Interesting discovery. I'll need to find a way. That's not mine. That's not mine. That's not mine. That's not mine. They say he... The lost... The lost... Oh, that! I thought it was gone for good. The lost... That's so... Uh... Some even this... I hear that stuff is fed. What's the matter? You're running all over creation. Ah... You don't believe Lady Rhea is the real target. Even so, the knights the goddesses right. They say it's not too likely. That's so. Uh... I was. 
was thinking? Have you heard of the even the church? The church or in return in the 400 years? There's been talk. Could that possibly mean that Rhea isn't? I don't know who's to blame. With everyone stuck on guard duty, our study and training. What? What did? What? It's. I never thought such forces could exist in this world. I suppose that means. What's this? What's this? What's this? I appreciate this. Oh, thank you. Now, the monks, they said that given the circumstances, Die in every battle, and it, depending on who died, it's different. I hope nothing bad happens. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Enemies true to the monastery. Would you mind asking around and seeing what you can? I have a favor to ask. Professor. So yeah, I bet what do you think, Professor? Oh, I'm right all right. Oh, hey! That isn't my... That isn't... That is... I need a favor. Yes? Too much time roaming. If you're looking for something, try less aimless wandering. Do you even know who the enemy is? None of my business, anyway. Maybe it would be terrible if this place contains so many breeds. 